Hi everyone, this is Kelly. Um, today I have a drugstore haul for you guys. Um, these are very, very summer appropriate um, colors and formula and they're also very affordable. So I um, hope these, um, hope my discoveries are helpful for you. So let's just get right into it. So first things first, I went to the next store because I was looking for some nail polishes and I um, had purchased this one previously and I knew how amazing the formula was. Is there a nail liker? They only have one nail, nail color series and series and they have like 84 different colors I believe. So I know um, this formula, this pearl necklace color was so, so good. Like the formula was amazing. It was so easy to apply. The brush is amazing. Um, also, it's quick to dry. The second coat also dries very quick, quickly without leaving like any marks or chipping. So I knew that I had to go get some summery colors. So I picked up these two colors. This is like uh, the Barbie hot pink. And this is the um, like um, very, very hot pink with a hint of coral. So this is, um, I would say, not darker but slightly warmer and the Barbie pink one is a little bit cooler so this Barbie pink color is called Paradise Martini and this hot pink is called Dancing Daytona I love them both I couldn't decide I would normally gravitate towards the warm toned pink but this time I just had to get both because they are so pretty and they're only five bucks and the formula is just amazing you know with some opaque colors uh, when you try to build the color up for the second coat, it just gets really clumpy and cakey and like it's very, very hard to apply the second coat. But because the formula is very runny and perfect and applies very evenly and thin and just, just no floss, no chipping, I just apply them actually a couple days ago. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. And then there's, you know, obviously a couple days no chipping, but these are better than Essie's or um, OPI's nail polishes. And in my opinion, I used to use um, Nars's um, nail polishes. These are better than that. I think so far these are the best nail polish formulas I've ever used. I do believe that they used to make nail polishes, but I think these are the new reformulated versions. So definitely go check that out. And I have them on my nails right now, the hot pink and the Barbie, the Barbie pink and the hot pink color. All right. And then going on with the color theme. Um, so this is the Nars's Orgasm Dupe, in my opinion. So this is their Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in color Rose Petal Pop. I will show you it's like very corally rosy color with gold shimmer in it and in my opinion these are better than Nars's orgasm because I do have the older formula and uh, the gold glitter in the old formula orgasm is very chunky and it's very visible it's not the most flattering things it does emphasize your texture so I do believe that they reformulated their blush so now they are better it's prettier totally worth the hype but I have the older formula and I don't use it anymore so this is what you need to get I have this on my cheek right now I don't know if you can see but I it gets like it's a so pretty blushing rosy corally color and also very very easy to blend and also the stain power is amazing because this is in stick formula and this is so summer appropriate so I apply literally everywhere and slightly on my nose as well and so it's like looks like a nice sun kiss sunburn look which I'm really loving for the summer I really recommend this this is so pretty I only like Chanel blushes these days and I'm only using Chanel blushes for almost two years now I only have two Chanel blushes and I alternated in between those two but I had to pick this up this is so pretty yeah and then the next one oh this is their new um, product for the summer called Dose of Dew. This is face gloss, not a highlighter. 
Um, this gives you a very glossy dewy effect and has like a very slightest amount of highlighter. So this is not highlighter. This will not highlight your face. But you do put this on the parts of your face where you have a, a highlighter. And um, especially on your naked face. And this is the perfect um, product to achieve the wet face look. You know, like the glossy cheeks, glossy chin, the glossy face. I love using this, especially when I'm having a very good skin day. I definitely do not wear any foundation, but wear this and some highlighters to emphasize my um, high points more. This is so pretty. And um, this is also very easy to use, blendable. It's like um, if you're not very good at using a highlighter or if you don't like anything too artificial or too much or like beaming, you know, stuff beaming out of your face, this is like the glow from within. Very natural, um, very pretty. The color is like this. It's like a uh, pinkish champagne color. It is gorgeous. I think Nyx did a very great job. However, the stain power is questionable. All right, so on to, I still have a lot more Nyx products. I have three more. Just bear with me because they're really, really good. And that this one is their new um, Epic Ink Lip Stain. I have the color Revolt number 11. Um, this is a very watery, water-based lip stain. Um, this is like, you know, true red, slightly warm-toned red color. I will I will swatch it for you, even though it will stain my, my body. Um, this is the color. It stains pretty nicely. And it's very, very um, bold here, stain. However, um, I don't think this is waterproof. I don't think it's worth um, the name. This is not ink. This I bought this because I have a lot of lip stains from Korea, but it said it was lip dye. And I just wanted to try something, you know, while I was at the store, I bought it. I regret it because this is not waterproof. When you brush your teeth, they're gone. My Peripera um, Paris Ink the Velvet or Ink the Velvet products, they stay on. They stay on like crazy. They stay on for two days on your lips. But this one just sort of disappears and it's still really, definitely not worth the hype and also. But they do have very um, different, you know, unconventional color, se color selections for darker lips like purples and browns, I believe. So. If you're into that, go check that out. Also, these are very lightweight because these are water-based, but also it could make your lips dry. So this one, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I had to let you know so you don't waste your money. And this one, oh, I'll show you this one first. And the next one is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. This is, you know, a lot of people know this concealer as a Narcissus a Radiant Creamy Concealer dupe. In my opinion, this is like way better because of the blendability and the formulation and the color and the longevity. I tried Narcissus Creamy Radiant Concealer for a few times because it's, it's just really, really hyped up. It's not worth it. I'm, my under eyes are not dry. I don't really have any wrinkles. Yeah, I don't really have under eye wrinkles or anything serious going on or serious dark circles. So my under eyes, yeah, they're like fine. They should be work, able to work with almost any concealer out there for under eyes. But for some reason, whatever concealer I tried in the past, it just didn't work. It just emphasized those little fine lines under your eyes and... Um, just made your eyes very dried out and wasn't a pretty look and it, did, it didn't stay on a lot of them didn't stay on but this is a game changer um the formula I don't know what it is but I just blended with my elf um, flawless concealer brush this little one I blended just very minimally and sort of depth sort of you know blend out just this much maybe because this is a very good color for me I have the color 3.5 nude beige and it just it's just so perfect it's like bam my under eyes 
are gone, like no dark circles. This is amazing. And I set it with this powder that I discovered from NYX. I, I think this one's been around for quite a while, but I just never knew that because I'm never a huge foundation powder fan anyway. I just like to, I just like my foundation to sort of like sit, sink into my skin and like become a part of my skin instead of like having a powder on top of it to set it. I know, um, I do use powders on occasion. It's like where I have to keep my makeup matte, but most of the times I never use foundation uh, powder. But this was a game changer. When I used this together, it was like just everything was smoothed out, especially the pores on my cheeks. They were just gone. And this color is so beautiful. I have the color in that light medium, and they also have the medium dark, but it's just like so mineral you know mineral powders have like a beautiful gorgeous sheen like like very subtle sparkles i would say they have that and it's just amazing so definitely check these guys out it's only five dollars like ten dollars i believe this, these are amazing i think um i use this everywhere and this keeps my makeup so nice and in place um i don't even use a primer because i have this one and it's gonna last me a lifetime so that's amazing Alright, last product from NYX. Um, is there a lip liner? I haven't even opened it yet because I still have a one that I'm using up. This is in soft brown and it's honestly my go-to lip liner. I will swatch right here for you. Oops. Um, this is like, yeah, literally like brown with hint of coral. Very, very light brown with hint of coral. For me, um, I'm very warm, and this um, is the perfect nude lip liner. Some people love natural, which is more pink toned with some gray, but that is not me, so I have natural, but I rarely use this, but soft pink, yeah. Soft brown, I love it. Alrighty. And so, oh, also this e.l.f. Um, highlighting brush, the qualities, these e.l.f. brushes, the black ones, the $3 ones, they're so good. The quality, I can't really complain. I have like, I own quite a lot of um, e.l.f. brushes because I, I first, I prefer synthetic brushes to the natural hair blushes, brushes because they kind of shed on my skin and it's like really prickly. But these are so soft, do the job right they just do the job and they're very soft cruelty free and very easy to use very easy to clean and just amazing these are winners I'm I'm gonna go buy them more if I have to I'm just gonna stick with um, L brushes for the rest of my life probably and real techniques what was that all right and these next are these guys L'Oreal Lash Paradise I have two colors, two different formulas. This is a waterproof black, and this is the um, the washable version in color black is brown. Black is brown. I don't know what that is about, but um, I guess this is less black, and I have it on my lashes right now. Yeah, and they do a very good job at curling. They're um, and the wand. I have the Asian lashes. They are not on the short side or long side. They're um, slightly on the longer side and on the fuller side as well. And they curl very well. And they, however, they don't stay curled. But when I use this in conjunction with my other my mascara fixer, which I will talk about in the future, which is my favorite, um, works very well. Stays um, in place throughout humidity heat whatever um today san francisco is very 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 wet and i was walking i was um taking a walk in buena vista park in the like and it was just so misty and wet they held up dang well um and no fallouts these are very good mascara um the wand is a little too big for my taste but and also they kind of clump but i think i really like it Tati talked about it, obviously, so I had to go buy it. Um, obviously, Tati and I have different eyelashes, very different, um, you know, hair types, but this is 
yeah, these give you a ton of volume and also length and also keep your lashes curled. And also the washable version, which is what I'm using right now, they are wash wash out very, very easily. So I don't really have to use a makeup remover to remove this. So it's a winner and they're very, they're very affordable, like about ten nine dollars So yeah, highly recommend it. So I had to purchase one in waterproof formula. I was actually going to purchase the waterproof um, formula, but I received the wrong one from Amazon. But whatever. This is um, purchased the waterproof one in black, and I know I'm going to love it. But however, these will be clumpy. And I don't know if they separate nicely because their bristles kind of clump up. This I have this... I've had this for about a week now, but they do clump off fast, and yeah, that's the only downside. They don't really separate, but they will drag your lashes out. Yep. And also, last two products, these are Korean brands, which you can easily get in the U.S. as well. These, these are the Peri Paris, Paris Ink, the Velvet. No, this is the Ink the Airy Velvet, which is the newest formula. And this is the Ink the Velvet in number 14, Beauty Peak Rose. And this is number 2. I don't know what this is. Oh, pretty Orange Pink, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, they will have a very, very good staining power. And I got mine on eBay. And the, they're so good. They were so cheap too. They're only 15 for two. And this lip stain, I will swatch for you, is very moussey and creamy, like the Parapara one I've reviewed in my previous video. Oh, the color is definitely not picking up because of my light. And this is the um, number two, the new formula, Airy Virgin. Um, all right, so. I will describe this number two color as like a really um, light, bright watermelon, transparent color, and also very creamy and moussey, very, very light. And this one also has a moussey um, whips texture. This is definitely not orange. Um, this is more like warm toned pink. But yeah, under the daylight, it will be a different color, but um, I swear by these, I've used a um, and I've used Inktude, they're so good, you should just go check it out. I just highly recommend it, and these are the most perfect um, lip stains on the market in my opinion. I think this will be comparable to the Lancome um, lip stain thing. The one that with the funny spongy tip um, applicator. Alright, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time if um I'll see you next time. And if anything you want me to talk about, just let me know. Please comment down below and bye bye.